Okay, then we can start to load ink to the ink tank and ink damper. Before we load ink to the machine, we must be sure the white ink circulation switch is open. We find out the white ink circulation switch from here. You must uh, make it open like this. But this way, push down is for close. This is for close. And open is down, it's up, it's open. This for close. We must open it like this. Two of these is open. If you two print head, only need open one, the right one is not working. If you have four print head, so the left one, the right one must be all are open like this. So after we open the wet ink circulation tuber, then we be sure all the damper are put inside of the carriage. And then also we must be sure the bottom waste ink tank are put tube ready to the waste ink tank. And also all the switch is open, like this. Then we go, go to the back side of the printer to load ink to each ink tank. Okay, then we start to load ink to the ink tank. First, we must be sure all the ink tank inside is clean. Before we load ink tank, we need to go to the switch at the left the right side. We loosen it. Then we can take up the top cover. And we can see this is the way white ink tank and KCMY. The white ink have shaking system, steering, steering system inside, and also have a separation. So first, we need to open the switch on the top. Here is a switch. For the ink lever, we open it. When it's without ink, lack of ink, if you have an alarm, the beep sound coming out. So first, we load the wet ink. Before we load the ink, we just put the glove to protect our finger. Then we find out the white DTF ink from focus. The white ink we must shake in before we fear to the tank. Upset, upset, and shaking about two or three minutes to be sure the tatamia formula inside is equal. Like this. After shaking, we open the cover. And if you, if the wet ink is stay for a long time, about one month or two months without using, except the shaking, we need to also use the screwdriver to put it inside the clean screwdriver to shaking, to load it to make sure all the wet ink at the bottom are coming up without settling.
before we load ink, we need to open the switch of the ink level for wet. Then we start to load. We put the paper to protect the wet ink leaking. When the light is off, the beep sound is off, then we stop. About we can load about a half. If you're not for always using, so not need to load too much. The ink after we load, the balanced ink we must fasten wear and keep at the cold without sunshine place for staunch. Then we start to load the yellow ink. We install back the cover. Please pay attention that the cover we cannot fasten too much. This one is wrong. We must open it a bit to make sure the air can go inside. And also for the white ink. Not too tighten, just loosen a little bit. Make sure the air can go through to the ink tank. Then we start to load the magenta ink. Also the color ink we check in before we fear. If you just a uh, half, not too tight and loosen a little bit. You feel the sire ink. 
we check him before with fruit. Just a little bit. We start to load the last uh, black ink. Please pay attention that the, the balanced ink stay inside the bottle must be keep without any sunshine and also with, with correct temperature between 21 to 28 degree without hot air, dust, also strong sunshine keep wear for refill. Let me install back the cover. So loosen a little bit for the cover. Okay, so this is the procedure to load ink to the ink tank, big ink tank. Then we go to the next step to load ink to the ink damper. Okay, after we fill the ink to the big ink tank at the left the back side of the machine, then we can start to load ink from the damper because we are the first time to load ink so there's nothing no ink inside of the ink tube so first we find out the brand new injection we take out the near from the left to right the ink flow is black cyan magenta yellow kcm1 this is the inside is the color print head so first we load the color, color ink damper. Just 
纸巾。We prepare the tissue to prevent the ink leaking. And for safety, we put the tissue to the print head position to prevent the ink leaking to damage the print head. We do some protection job. So first we load the black ink. We find the K named means black. We put the injection connect with the ink damper and we hold the ink damper by this way. Here have a switch inside and have the film. So we cannot hold the damper by this way. Otherwise the ink will be flushing out to damage the printer and got printer dirty. The Correct way to hold the damper is by this way. To hold the damper by the two left and right sides by this way. And we hold the damper with a little bit of angle toward to the sky. And then we connect with the injection to load the ink from the big ink damper, big ink tank to the damper. Then we see you can see the white the black ink is coming. We must load about five to ten milliliter for each color. So we must be sure there's no air stay at the ink damper surface. So we must have hold the damper by this way. Up, wait for it to automatically stop for the pressure. Then we release the injection. And the first time the, the ink we pull out, we cannot flush back to the ink tank because it may have some uh, dust inside the ink tuber. Then we start to install the print head, the damper of the print head. So first we must hold the ink damper by this way. Then be sure that the cable, the tuber not bending. Please, please, must be sure we cannot hold damper by this way. Otherwise, the ink will be flushing out. We must hold by this way. Then we install back to the print head damper holder. and push to the bottom to be sure it's not loosened as this. And we do by the same way to load the ink the second one is cyan. We find out cyan ink damper. And we start to load. We hold the damper by this way and towards a little bit angle. If one tends not enough, then we can make it twice. Remember the first time the ink will flush from the ink tank to the injection, the ink cannot flush back to the ink tank because it has some dust inside.
then we install back, hold the damper by this way, we install back the ink damper to the print head. Go through from the print head, the damper holder. To make the go through and push to the bottom. Then the first, the second ink damper cyan is installed where? Then number three is magenta. We find our magenta ink damper. And also we use another brand new injection. We pour about 5 to 10 milliliter for each color. And also we install back. When we install back, the small position is at the front. The big position at the bottom is to the back side. Like this way. We hold the tube a little bit. And we insert to the holder. Like this way. Here have a block. So we must move use the we use the ink damper to move a little bit out like this. Then we insert back like this way. A little bit angle and move, then push down. But must be sure the back side of the holder cannot touch the, the both side of the film. Otherwise, the ink will be flushing out to leak into the print head cable to get print head dirty. Let me do the next one. The last one is yellow. We must be sure there's no air, no bubbles. The damper. Then we install back to the holder and push down, fix it. So by this way, the K C M Y all two four four color ink are filled to the ink damper. So this is a procedure to load ink, the color ink to the ink damper. Then we start to load the white ink to the ink damper. Before we load the white ink, we must install back the empty ink damper first for safety, one by one. because the white ink have secretion. If we not install where, the ink will be flushing out. It will be easy to make ink leaking. So for safety, we must install back all four ink tank, ink damper to the print head first. And we check all the connectors are connect where without leaking. this way.
Then we go to the back side of the printer and then we start, we need to pop on the machine and we turn on the white ink secretion option. So before we feed white ink to the print head, we need to pop on the machine and make the white ink secretion options working. So the load ink for white ink and for color ink is different method. So first we be sure there's nothing stay on the surface of the table and the cartridge can move freely. And then we start to power on the machine as before. We power on the general power switch. And we power, release the top emergency top stop button. <coughs> the cap station starts to move down. And now it's still ready. Then we can go to the back side of the printer. Then we power on, we open the word ink secretion option. When we go to the back side of the printer, and we find out the word ink secretion control knob here. We open it. Not too fast. about 30 degree. Then the wet ink will scale secretion, go to the ink tank, sub ink tank, then go back to the ink bottle. Meanwhile, we must check to the carriage if any wet ink is leaking. We can open the first time we open a little bit fast to, to check if the wet ink go back to the ink bottle. Then we can see the white ink coming back to the ink bottle of the white ink. So that means the white ink secretion is working. We just keep it a little bit low speed, not too fast. Keep it working this all the time. Open it a little bit. Then we go back to the carriage to load the ink to the ink tank to the wet ink damper. Then we go back to the carriage. We can see they have already wet ink input, output, then go back to the wet ink bottle. And also some little, little bit of wet ink go here. But it not go to the ink damper because the ink damper the ink damper have value inside, have switch inside. So we need to open one by one and to load the first time by itself. To take out the ink damper, we push a little bit of this, the, the switch, and we take it out easier. And please, please remember, we cannot hold the damper by this way. If we hold damper by this way, the ink will be flushing out because have pressure of the secretion. Please, please remember, it's very dangerous. So we hold damper by this way, and we load the ink out. To load the wet ink, we cannot too fast.
then we install back. Please, we cannot push the left, the right, back side, right side of the damper. And we bend a little bit of the broker. Then we put the damper to fix it. Then we install the same way to the next two. We take out the damper as before. For safety, we can close off the water ink circulation right now. There will be no big pressure. Then we put back. Before we put back, we can use the paper to be sure it's not dropping. If it's dropping, then it let drop into the tissue. Then we install back. I will push the top to the bottom to be sure all the white ink appeared. To be sure it's fast and wear without shaking, moving for the white and the color print head damper. Then we remove the cable, remove the, the tissue from the print head position. So from here you can see must be with good experience. No one job, no one ink job to the tissue. Professional. Okay, so this is the procedure to load ink to the color ink, ink damper and wet ink damper, and also procedure to open the wet ink secretion system. After we load the ink to the damper, then we can need to load the ink to the print head. Okay, after we load the ink to the ink damper, 
then we can start to load ink from the ink damper to the print head. So first we open the MapleJet Plus 62F icon from the desktop to run the control software. When we open the software, the cup stages start to moving down. And then we go to find clean. And we go to strong, strong clean, power clean. And we choose head. That means we clean the white print head and two print and the color print head both. We click place head. Then we go to the cap station. The cap station starts to moving down. And then the pump starts to pump the ink. We can see the ink fall up, pump out from the ink tube. The waste, the wet ink waste tube and color ink waste tube. Then we can see the ink pumping out. Then pump the waste ink bottle. Then the wiper starts to moving up. to wipe out the waste ink. Then the cap station go back to home position. Moving up for flushing. After flushing for several seconds. Then pump out the waste ink and the cap stitching moving to up to for keep weight to prevent the weight the printing head be dry after no long time no printing. So this is the full procedure to clean the printing head and also to pump the ink out for the first time to load the ink. After load the ink we can do another test print to check if all the nozzles are pumped out. If the nozzles are not all are printed out, then we need to do the clean option for several times to be sure all the nozzles are printed out. So this is the procedure to load ink to ink tank, to ink, ink damper, and then to print heads.